Welcome back to the Iron King Inc. YouTube channel. My name is Quentin, and today we're gonna go over the difference between a D10N final drive and a D10T final drive. Very similar in name, but very different on how they work. So this is a D10T final drive, and this is a D10N final drive. Now this is gonna be a very in-depth video on the differences between a D10N and a D10T final drive. So if you get bored easily or you don't like going through part numbers, video might not be for you. But if you wanna gain some knowledge, uh, pretty useless knowledge unless you're in the tractor industry, stick around because you might learn something. Now these might look the same, but they're very different. And in order to show that difference, I have Jack over here, OG cameraman. We're getting pieces of D10N and D10T final drives so we can take a in-depth look inside and check the part numbers to see what the difference is. So we're gonna start right here. These are the final drive hubs for a D10. So this is what all the gears go in. Your spindle goes inside of here that connects it to the steering clutch of the tractor. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that heavy warrior, you're like, oh so god! <laughs> all the way to the moon! Okay, hold up, nice and simply easy, and we're set down. This is basically where everything works, everything moves inside of this planetary housing. Now, this is where you gotta be really careful. Very similar. They're even the same part number, but they are not the same. Check this out. This right here is a D10N final drive, a 1102664. If you look closely inside of here, you will notice it's cracked. Broken here broken and welded here. This whole ring is cracked. Now this one, same part number, 1102664. So they're interchangeable, but you look inside and what do you notice? More ribs. Way more ribs. All this right here is an added casting into this hub that strengthens the housing so you don't have this failure right here where it cracks all the way around so same part number not the same updates this is where you got to be really careful now you can actually tell if a part has been updated by looking at the casting number so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the complete final drives and i'm going to show you how you can tell if a part is updated but may have the same part number let's go check it out so moving back this way, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking here on this episode. We have casting numbers in the top of our planetary housings. So, go here, 3T3294, three three okay? D10T, 3T3294 casting number. This is where you wanna look at what they call revisions. So there's gonna be a little number right below here. You're gonna see cat and then the number 12, D10T, right? Go here, seven. So even though the part has the same part number, it's had a bunch of different revisions to make that part better. Now I'm not sure what makes that part better, Obviously, we could tell by looking at the hub, we know that what they, what they did there was strengthen up and add more ribs. I'm not sure what they've done here, but they have revised the part number, 3T3294, up to 12 times. And this isn't even the latest and greatest of the latest and greatest. So there may be even more revisions to that part number, which is why you need to be so careful on what you're buying 
and make sure if you are buying a used part or even something from the cat dealer, make sure that the revisions on your casting number are the same or better than what you have. So the next part that we're gonna be talking about is the spindle. Now the spindle is what the hub mounts on and the spindle is what attaches to your steering clutch and to the main case of the tractor's frame in order to, well, mount your final drive. So this right here is your spindle. And in order for us to tell the differences between the two, we're gonna get Jack on the electric forklift and we're gonna lift these units up so we can look underneath and look at the differences. That should be good. So this is a D10N spindle. It's a seven tom five, four, eight, three. That is a D10T spindle. And it is a three, two, seven, four, four, two, zero part number. Now you can physically take a D10N final drive and bolt it on to a D10T but you're gonna be in a real world of problems if you do that, and I'm gonna show you why. So underneath, where the steering clutch would attach to the final drive, you have this little area that's been milled out to where when the steering clutch bolts on, it has enough space in here in order for it to clear and not hit the spindle. So let's go ahead and show these guys a D10 steering clutch and show them what we're talking about. So I'm just gonna walk over here. Jack's gonna man the forklift. He's gonna stick right there. We'll check out a steering clutch and what it does and how it works. So right here is a, I believe these are D10N. Yes, I'm correct. 9U9082 D10N steering clutch. So here is the underneath of a D10N steering clutch. So this area right here is where the final drive would bolt onto. Now, if you look, you have these passages and those passages are what change from the D10N to the D10T. And I'm sure there's other differences that I'm missing as well, but the main difference is these passages right here. So you can see on the D10N, they stick down ever so slightly, but it's not that much. It's almost level right there. So. What happens is when they updated that part, the D10T steering clutch, that passage right there sits lower. So what they had to do was they had to mill the spindle down in order for the steering clutch to clear. And I have a perfect example of what happens when you don't mill down your spindle, what happens to that part. And that's sitting right here. So here's a perfect example of what happens when you try and bolt a D10N style spindle to a D10T style steering clutch. If you look right here, this entire area is broken because someone laid that steering clutch on there and sucked it together and ended up breaking this entire spindle. And look at the, how much meat is here. That's over an inch thick. How much force did that take to crack that spindle like that? That's insane to me. Pretty impressive. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go check out a D10T spindle and show you how that is different. So the man of the hour just walks in here. Why did, what is this? First of all, what is that? Why did you give it to me and what happened? This is the uh, window actuator switch out of our company truck. Which one? The white, the 400,000 mile truck. Um, got a little hot. Why did it get hot? I did leave the window down and it did start raining. That is straight up secondhand Dodge wiring problems right there. That is just straight up <laughs> Dodge wiring problems. Got a little water on it and it tried to burn the truck to the ground. Could you imagine if that would have been what killed that truck? Window switch melted? Been pretty, pretty, pretty gay. Did you at least get the window up? No. <laughs> but I, it's in the shop now. Ah, yeah. okay. So it is. No longer out in the weather. <laughs> Look at that thing. It totally melted it. How did you, it how'd you even notice it was... Well, the, uh, I smelled burning wires all day, and I didn't know what it was. I just thought it was a burn pile. But then I walked back there, and the, uh, 
the truck smelled like Bernie Myers too, so I looked in the truck and the windows didn't work, so I, you know, tried to. Did, you, did you little, start panicking? Little, <laughs> little troubleshooting. You didn't see smoke coming out of it? No, just that's uh, it reeks too. Yeah, it smells burnt. <laughs> All right, back to the video. This is the perfect time to remind you guys to buy Iron King Inc. merch on the Iron King Inc. merch website. We have new shirts, hats, beanies, everything you need if you want to rep Iron King. Go to the store, check it out. Also, we revamped our website, ironkingparts.com. So if you wanna check out these parts, I got a couple of videos of our rental equipment as well. If you wanna check that out, go to our website, ironkingparts or ironkinginc.com. Okay, so here we have the D10T final drive. Let's check out that spindle. And sure enough, you have your reliefs. So the D10T steering clutch sticks down farther, and in turn, the spindle needs to be milled down in order for that steering clutch to fit. And you can see where this is milled right here, where that old one was cracked, because they tried to stick that steering clutch on there, suck it together, and that's where it broke. That's why you gotta be so careful on what parts you can reuse and what you cannot reuse, right? That's correct. And I've learned the hard way, I'll be honest, I'll be the first one to tell you, I have learned the hard way so many times, but I learned the hard way so you don't have to. A D10N and a D10T final drive, yes, very, very similar. The tractors even look the same, but that part, not the same. You gotta know what you're doing. At least I hope you gain some knowledge. I learned the hard way, so I've known this forever. And I hope you're not too bored with that. I, I have fun doing these videos and kind of explaining the differences between these parts because it's what I do all day and I feel like I haven't been able to tell anyone. So now I'm telling you, my viewers. I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any questions or concerns, did I say something wrong? Do you know something more than I do about these final drives? Let me know in the comment section. See you in the next one.